Hey guys, how's it going? This is Khan, Mr. So Real, and welcome to Week 89's Good or Garbage, the number one place where you can find out what weapons, mods, attachments, all that stuff is being sold in the division on a weekly basis. I can't believe it. It is Week 89, y'all. This has been so long. I've been in the game. Who you know messing with that? All right, so this week there's a lot of garbage going on, uh, as to be expected with the global events. Uh, there is a lot of stuff that I will not be recommending, a lot of stuff uh, including the placeholder stuff for the gear that I will just kind of leave alone because if you do not have the classified gear sets, you still have time to get out there and grind. So get out there and grind. Go and get those classified gear sets. Predator's Mark, um, Nomad, all that stuff is going to be very, very important in the upcoming future. If you do appreciate these videos and know that it, you know it takes a lot of time to make this stuff, hit that like button and remember to share. And let's get started and get going on this week's Good or Garbage. Uh. Alright guys, so let's start off this week with the placeholder gear. In DZ8, in the placeholder section, we have a Firecrest bag with pretty decent armor at 1333. Comes with 1234 firearms, 8% critical hit damage, and 16% bleed resistance. The Firecrest classified is not out yet, so if you don't have a Firecrest bag, this could work out very well for you as a placeholder until the classifieds do come out. All right, now let's move on to the attachments for this week. In the base of operations uh, at the special equipment vendor, looking at the attachments, there's a pretty nice rugged mini reflex sight with 6.5% crit hit chance, 4% damage, and 5.5% uh, headshot damage. Now this is not the god roll, but it is very, very close with all of the headshot damage, crit chance, crit chance and crit damage this is a pretty nice one to have if you are looking for something like this to help out your build in dz9 this is probably strictly going to be for the newer agents there is an extended magazine being sold uh 118.5 magazine size 4% crit hit damage and 2.5% crit hit chance if you are desperate and in need of an extended magazine this is a decent one that you can pick up if you do not have the extended magazine blueprint if you do have the blueprint go ahead and craft it uh, that'll probably be your best bet it may take you a few rolls but if you uh, are in dire need and you don't have the materials and you don't have the blueprint you can go and pick this up for some DZ credits if you have those now let's go take a look at this week's gear mods. Taking a swing over to the firewall, looking at the mods for this week, we have the prototype stamina mod, a purple with 3% damage to elites. Now this usually goes up to four, but these things are very rare and hard to find. So if you are new to the game and you do not have these, highly recommended that you pick up a few of these because these can make PVE content a lot easier, uh, especially when you stack them in uh, and fill up all of the slots, then it can add up very quickly to about 15% more damage to elites now this thing comes with stamina so you get 195 uh, stamina for each one and then the three percent damage to elites let me know how many of these you pick up and uh, if you are picking these up this week over at the vendor in DZ4, there is an electronics mod being sold this week 264 electronics and the downside to this is the one percent crit hit chance personally i'm not a fan of the one percent crit hit chance i think it's a bit of a waste uh but 264 electronics can help out your build if this is something that you need so if you are looking for something like this go ahead to uh dz4's vendor and pick it up Looking at mods this week, over in the cavern, there is a firearms mod, which is looking pretty good at 263 firearms. It also comes with 3,313 health. So if you're not looking for uh, skill haste on your mods, maybe you just want to have some health for some extra toughness, then this could be a pretty nice way uh, to bump you up with toughness and still give you that punch that you need in your firearms. So go to the cavern and check it out. 
In East 42nd Street, there is a prototype performance mod for the Ballistic Shield Damage Resilience. You get 5% with this. Uh, there is a bit of a debate if you believe that the Shield Damage Resilience or the Shield Health is the better option. Some people say this one, some people say Health. Uh, I guess I'm going to leave it all up to you. I personally am not a defense runner, but I do plan on making one if I do get uh, all six pieces of the classified. I'd like to try it out especially if i had a house that was worth a damn uh, but unfortunately some of those things just don't exist so if you are a defense runner uh which one do you prefer would you say that the ballistic shield defense resilience is better or the shield health is better let us know in the comment section below for those of us who are trying to make a defense build in the future now let's take a look at the good rolled weapons and gear with garbage gear scores at the special equipment vendor in the base of operations, uh, in the, I guess, good roll section would be this M700 Carbon. Now this thing has 156 headshot damage, which is pretty sad, uh, but the talents on it are pretty good. You've got Disciplined, you've got Destructive, and you have Elevated. So the reason I would say this is a pretty good roll is because with Discipline, killing a target makes your next shot with the weapon an automatic crit hit. If you're not running Deadeye, then this could be pretty good, Especially if maybe you're running a century, running a six piece century, this could help you out. You get that kill, you get the next crit, you headshot somebody, pretty good stuff. Then you have destructive, which will take down the armor as well. So this will help you do even more damage. And then you have elevated, increases your damage by 10% when you're over 1.2. This is kind of the talent that's baked into the M700 carbons. So this is a pretty good one, uh, I would say. But unfortunately, since it's only a gear score 271, it'll probably take quite a bit of credits to get it to its max performance level. Looking at another couple of good rolls at the special equipment vendor in the base, we have a Tenacious Mask, and with Tenacious you get extra 10% damage for 10 seconds when using a med kit. Um, this will probably be one of the new masks to kind of go for with the meta, just because stamina is back so high, it'll be kind of high to... Uh, or kind of hard to get your health back with the the booster shots and stuff like that it's just going to be much harder so tenacious could be one of your best bets to give you even more damage for survivability this one comes with 977 armor it also comes with 6.5 percent enemy armor damage and 11 percent damage to elites this would be excellent for pve content pvp maybe not so much but for pve it definitely could work out for you now the next thing is the vigorous chest piece that is being sold uh, the vigorous chest piece comes with health it comes with skill haste uh, unfortunately it comes with uh, kill XP but the stats on it are eh, kind of mediocre to average it's at 274 but if you are looking for something with skill haste and health uh, on a vigorous chest piece then this could work out for you if you don't have a complete gear set just yet looking at the good rolls uh, but maybe not so good gear score. We're taking a look at the ACR. Now, while the ACR is not really one of the top uh, recommended assault rifles, it is still a very good assault rifle. Probably, I would say personally, my second best behind the M4 series. Uh, I like it personally better than, um, I guess, what was the other one? The G36. The G36 personally is not one of my favorites, but the ACR is pretty stable and it hits pretty well. So looking at this, one it has predatory meticulous and competent uh, I would probably roll off meticulous if possible and go with something else maybe uh, deadly or something else uh, maybe even responsive something that would fit my playstyle or the build that I'm making uh, predatory is a very good talent to have and I think is going to make a very big comeback especially when you start thinking about the uh, predators mark builds and also the nomad builds this is going to come in handy for a lot of people so if you've never tried out an ACR it only costs you regular credits you may want to check it out see if uh, you like the recoil pattern of this a little bit better than the uh, M4s or some of the other weapons and let me know what you think in the comment section below over in the crypt with a pretty pathetic 266 gear score we have the SOCOM M1A a fan favorite from way back in the day 
Yeah, that kind of rhymed. All right, never mind. All right, so anyway, uh, this thing has 148% headshot damage. It comes with Brutal, Vicious, and Swift. Uh, brutal and Vicious together are pretty nice to have. Swift, I would probably roll off to put Deadly so that you can maximize the damage with Vicious. Those two can go very well together. We all know that Deadly and Brutal are a excellent combination. So if you can roll something off, I'll probably go with that. Swift will inflate your DPS just because the reload speed uh, but more than likely the damage that you'll want will probably come from something like deadly so if you are going to keep this uh, then go ahead and go for that but with the gear score at 266 I'm very very hesitant to recommend this weapon because the amount of division tech required to maximize this will be utterly ridiculous um, but I would say just for newer agents if you do find yourself with a SOCOM M1A or one of the sniper rifles getting brutal if you have to choose between uh, Vicious and Swift and you have something like Brutal on it you may want to uh, keep Vicious and go with uh, Deadly in one of these slots and then just kind of roll with it at that 266 is a bit on the low side really I don't recommend uh, spending that much division tech on something like this but I did want to throw this out there for the newer agents who are struggling to get their head wrapped around uh, what talents to keep, which ones are no good, which ones are good, and how all of this stuff synergizes. I make this for you guys so that you can learn and then you can make your own informed decisions when you get drops that are either good or garbage. Now let's take a look at the 280 to 283 gear score items. In Camp Clinton at the 282 gear score, we have the Pecan with 20% damage to targets out of cover. This one comes with Skilled, Competent, and Pecan. The reason I'm recommending this is because I know a lot of people are using these to run through uh, certain incursions and they're using the um, Lone Star. And with Skilled, you get your signature back for getting headshot kills. Competent gives you even more damage and then with Pecan you get with even kills you get even more bullets So this could work out very well for you uh, giving you more time and more power to get that headshot to give you more signature So that you can use that to kill even more stuff It's kind of a nice little circle and a good little package right. plus with 20% damage to targets out of cover and being 282 Makes it kind of worth your while if you are looking for something like that for that particular play style in the 280 to 283 category, we have a requested G36 from Chris. Chris asked if I could uh, give a shout out if I ever saw a G36 over one uh, over 280. Well, this is 280 exactly, and honestly, I don't recommend this. But I'm giving this, uh, I'm putting this out to you because I didn't see anything better this week. Uh, so we have this military G36 with 20% enemy armor damage comes in with commanding sustained and focus focus is the baked in talent sustained and commanding on these i don't really recommend but if you are doing this for pve content and you are using commanding then it could work out for you just depends on your build and what you're trying to do with it for pvp definitely not uh but commanding and then sustained sustained is definitely not one of my favorite talents to have on a weapon uh so you guys let me know what would you put in this second slot to get rid of sustained to go with commanding uh this is probably going to be for pve if you're going to use it if you're going to use it for pvp then i guess you'd have to stay with sustained and then get rid of commanding and then in that case what would you roll off of it let me know i'm not really a g36 user but if you are what is it that you roll on this bad boy and how would you fix it let us know in the comment section below now I guess this is kind of special to Chris, so uh, since I really don't recommend the 280 gear score uh, military G36 at Camp Clinton, there is a G36C being sold, uh, but the gear score is pretty low at 268. But this one does come with accurate and responsive accurate you can always change if you don't like it but the problem is going to be that the gear score is so much lower the amount of division tech you would need to kind of fix this would be kind of ridiculous so you make the decision if this is something you want or the 280 is something a little bit more your speed let us know in the comment section if either of these helps you out or if you're still waiting for something better now it's time to wrap things up in the 284 plus gear score section. 
In Camp Clinton this week, there's a 285 Centurion pistol being sold with Destructive. If you use the Liberator, you definitely will want to have a Centurion on your hip. Uh, I personally am going to pick one of these up because I think Destructive is a pretty nice talent to have. And uh, if you do run with the Liberator, let me know what kind of talent you have on your Centurion and how you like it. In Park Avenue in the 284 gear score section, we have a surplus SVD sniper rifle. This thing comes with 170% headshot damage, which is pretty good. The talents on it are a little bit questionable and will depend heavily on your build. Now, the first one that we have is talented. Killing a target with this weapon increases skill power by 15% for 20 seconds. The effect does not stack, but killing a new target resets the timer. Then we also come with proficient. The first bullet shot out of combat gives you a 50% bonus chance and a result to a critical hit and then we have last discipline killing a target will make your next shot with the weapon an automatic critical hit now with disciplined and proficient together uh, and proficient really and truly only being active when you go from being out of combat into combat you really only get to use this once in most engagements and then once everything is cleared out you can use it again to start off uh, Personally, especially with an SVD being that it doesn't hit as hard as, uh, say, uh, an M44 or a M700, this thing doesn't mean it's going to kill with that, that crit. So I would say you're probably better off putting something like uh, Deadly on this so that if you do get the kill, uh, you will get a Deadly headshot guaranteed with the uh, next headshot that you shoot uh, because of discipline. Now, how that all factors with Talented is going to depend on you and depend on your build and how much electronics you have because 4,790 electronics is quite a lot if you are not running some type of skill build. So if you do decide to pick this up, let me know what your build looks like and how does this work in your build. Let everybody know and uh, we can all talk about it. All right, that is it, guys and girls, for this week's good or garbage. I hope you found something good or useful that can help out your build. I know there are a lot of new agents coming onto the scene. Thank you all very much. A big special shout out to Paul for the uh, tweet this morning to let me know that the Classic M60 and the Super 90 Blueprints are being sold in the base of operations. If you do need to pick those weapons up or are interested in them, definitely go ahead and check that out. There's been a lot of new growth going on with the channel, and I appreciate appreciate it uh, but unlike this guy who got killed trying to steal my my supply drop this sucker need to learn you can't just run up on people's supply drop act like you gonna get something and then want to crawl over to me asking for some help fool who do you think you messing with boy I'm gonna just look at you and I'm gonna walk away you know what I'm saying so anyway thank you guys for all the support I appreciate every last single one of you the channel is blown up and we have completely destroyed and smashed the 6,000 subscriber uh, goal that I set for this year. So what I have to do, what I want to ask of all of you is please leave a comment in the comment section down below uh, letting me know what kind of way you think we should celebrate the 6K subscriber. I really want to know. Uh, I got some ideas. I got some things I'm thinking about. Let me know what is it that you guys uh, would be interested in seeing or interested in doing. I just want to know. You let me know and then I'll, I'll see whatever is most popular or whatever and then we'll think about it. If it's doable, if it's feasible, if it's doable, I will try my best to do it. So thank you guys again for all of the support. This is episode number 89. 89 weeks in a row, y'all. Can you believe that? Oh man, I'm so hyped. Next week is going to be episode 90. Thank you guys so much for all of the support to the channel. Love all you guys. Keep grinding. Make sure you get those gear sets. You are going to need them because things are going to get real rough after next week. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. I'm going to be streaming later. I'll see you there. Peace. Oh.